Happy New Year, Facebook family and friends, and all of you out there in cyberspace. This is WF Rady. I just wanted to stop in for this first part of the new year. First thing I'd like to do is I'd like to start off with an apology. I, I know I promised some stories up for Legends of Lacey Road. I am working on one of those right now, but the most extenuating circumstance that has changed things in that realm of speaking is the fact that I've started school again uh, as of August I started school, back in school I'm trying to work on pursuing the dream that I have that I can bring better stories to you my Facebook family my friends my maybe my eventual fans um, I, I, I hope that you'll just bear with me I am in the middle of working on one which I do plan to have up by the end of the week if anything, just to at least have one for this remote time. However, speaking of Legends of Lacey Road and the fact that I'm in school, I'm going to do a little bit of changing up on something for this year and while I'm in school. And if it works, I may continue doing it. Um, what I'm going to do is last year I started off around July so announcing that I wanted the stories to be uh, wanted you to figure out what stories y'all wanted to hear between July and September before then and at that time that's when I started school it was kind of a last minute thought I had been putting it off for some time but then with my with the way I want to do things I knew it couldn't be put off any longer uh, matter of fact it's very paramount in my pursuits to be a writer and to be a better author that I might bring and produce better stories and better quality stories for you, my audience, my family, my friends, and anyone who just wants to enjoy. Um, so in light of that, I didn't anticipate the amount of time that the homework and such and anyone who's in school knows exactly what I'm saying especially if you're working a job and going to school and taking care of a family but yeah, it's just a part of life anyway um, the main thing I want to get at though is I want to make another video probably about February but in March I'm going to open the suggestion uh, deadlines for the Legends of Lacey Road and Five Tales for the Fire Sign, that during the months of March and April, I can get those stories in. I like you just to think about it, talk about it. There's cold winter nights ahead, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not more of a cold winter, each quote spring nights. But um, there's cold nights ahead. There's going to be plot times you're going to be stuck in. Ghost stories are going to come to mind, especially. If you're familiar with the old house on Lacey Road, which I grew up in, uh, and if you're familiar with those tales and those stories, I'd like you to start putting up the stories, the idea stories, or the those stories you would like me, that you've heard, and you'd like me to retell. I'd like for you to begin post talking about those, posting them up around in March and them. I will give a good time when and when the cutoff date will be. That way, when I'm on summer break between uh, between the spring semester and the fall semester, while I'm on summer break, I can work on those stories and get them prepared and ready to post up, uh, rather than trying to juggle writing the stories for Legends of Lacey Road and other tales for the Fireside, and trying to do homework and go to school and work and help my kids get where they need to be it just I, I'm going to try and tackle this with a much better strategy okay other than that it's 2017 and 2017 is a new year it's a new year to make up for the things where I fell short in 2016 2016 was a little bit of a hard year. Um, 
the best way I can say there was a lot of ups and downs, probably more downs than ups. Uh, a lot of things that didn't get finished, a lot of things that didn't go as planned, and with 2017, I hope to work out some kind of plan to where I can manage my life and my time to better so that I can produce more, be more interactive with you, my audience. Uh, I know there are plenty of stories I still want to tell, plenty of stories I'm working on, new artwork I'm trying to get ready and do, uh, a lot of stories I'm getting ready to rewrite from Stormwolf and the Abandoned Outpost to uh, The Long Walk Home is going to get a facelift and pretty much a time transplant. Uh, it, it was used to, at one time it was set in kind of an 80s, 90s setting. Now, because the Whispery Hollow has a definitive setting, which is the Victorian, post-Victorian, Edwardian type of era, with uh, gaslighting and you know a lot of Gothic. Victorian structures. It's a fantasy version of the Catawba Valley here in North Carolina. And it's almost like I'm rewriting history of this area to create a gothic horror fantasy version of this area. And I'm using old towns, old uh, old names for some of the original towns. Uh, the automobile in this setting will still be that of Model T, maybe slightly before, like the horseless carriage. It's still in that era, if that. Um, trains are the main mode of transportation outside of horse, buggy, and car, and, and like it's a low-level car. Uh, so I'm taking since. Since Long Walk Home was a written, well, probably the original Love Lady story, as I wrote it while I was still in high school. <clears throat> Excuse me. While I was still in high school, I'm going to uh, rewrite this for probably the 11th or 12th time. But this time, it will be getting placed in that definitive setting in that definitive time when there will be sirens, there won't there might be dogs barking, there won't be sirens. If you've read the story, there's a lot of modern esque things that are left in that are in it that are not a part of Whispery Hollow. If you go read go to the Whispery Hollow page, uh, which I'll provide the links below. Uh, but if you go to the Whispery Hollow page and you read like the original Long Walk Home and uh, The Haunting of Parsons Manor, the uh, was Dark Embrace, and some of those stories, you will find that that setting is completely clashing with that of The Long Walk Home. So, it, with that being the original Love Lady story, I do plan on revising this uh, yet again <laughs> but yeah I'm getting ready to revise this again and set it in its definitive setting also you know I'm, I'm wanting to have more short stories ready for my Balador setting uh, Balador and for any of those of you who do not know Balador is the fantasy world that I have been creating since the early, early, early 2000s, as in 2003, 2004, but its roots extend back further than that to the seventh grade, seventh, eighth grade. When yeah, actually, I'm gonna say eighth grade because it was a challenge that my mom issued when I was deep into the gothic horror scene. Uh, She issued a story for me to write a basically a fantasy quest, and that fantasy quest 
has played on my mind off and on over the years. Some of my friends got with me. We started creating little play. We started creating places based in the area we used to go camping. Uh, and in that, which there will be a Legends of Lacey wrote about that, that, that place we go camping. But that's a story for another time. Uh, but the key point is, is that Balador came from that challenge and from those little things that my friends and I were building. So what I'm wanting to do is let you know that Balador on the Wise Oak, if you ever, if you see links on my page about the Wise Oak, the Wise Oak is the stories, the legends, the tales, and even information about, and maps and such about Balador and the world of Aerith and the island of Agrain and so on. But it is all based around that fantasy world. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, you know, I, I would love to hear from some of you. Again, Happy New Year, and I thank you, thank you, thank you for being there, being bearing with me, being supportive, and I just, I hope to hear from some of you. I look forward to hearing from some of you, and, you know, I, I look forward to having more stories up for you to read soon. Uh, you know, all said and done, you know, you're growing, you're sitting here watching me grow and you're growing with me. So hopefully this will bring, uh, bring a, the community that much more together as my Facebook family, my friends, whether even here on YouTube, if I'm on you, I'm trying to do more on YouTube, which is where this video is coming from. Uh, but anyway, all said and done. I'm heading out. Thank you. And I hope that I look forward to hearing from you again soon. Peace out. Talk to you again soon. Till then.